couple things that you can find at home. You're gonna need um, a bowl, might be a little bit messy, and a, a glass container, so that's fine. A coaster, but you could also use a playing card or anything that will cover the surface. And, of course, a little bit of water. All right, so the water goes into the jar like this. We're gonna take it all the way to the very top. Perfect. And now, the card goes in place. The whole thing turns upside down. Now you understand why we have a bowl. All right, now this is the leap of faith because you need to let go of the card and just hope that the water stays there. Stay there, water, stay there. Bam! There it is, right? So look, the water stays in. There's no glue, there's nothing at all. There it is. If you're very brave, it's up and over your head. That's only if you're brave. Oh, I just felt something. Here we go, I'm back down again. And now, just to prove to you there's no trick, turn it upside down, the coaster is fine, and the water is back. So if you said that the secret to this was the air pressure pushing up, you are absolutely correct. In fact, we really only have to be concerned about the air pressure on the card pushing in this area here. So let's focus on this here, and it's a simple calculation, but you'll be amazed with how much air is actually pushing up on the card. All right, let's use inches. If I measure this across here like this, that's two and a half inches. So if I draw this out on a card, so we really can see what this looks like, there is what our square inches look like. There are five square inches in this circle. This bar weighs 14.7 pounds times five square inches. That gives us 72 pounds of pressure pushing up and we definitely don't have 72 pounds of pressure pushing down. The pressure wins and the water stays in the cup.